Welcome back to my channel guys, I've got another interesting one for you as always and um, yeah and the anomalies are getting like really a lot, a lot better, we're starting to find a lot more so I'm really excited especially today, uh, I've seen a, seen a bunch of stuff and uh, here's another official one of course, link uh, in the description as always. Now uh, let's grab a quick preview on this one. So right off you can see that the quality is really bad of course so uh, I've got the enhanced version here. And right off the bat you can see like this, this the most perfect square rectangle I've ever seen in my life. It cannot get better, you will see it will pop out even more once we get into Photoshop and enhance the image. I've got everything set up here and there's something here that you know it's kind of looks like a destroyed vehicle of some sort. And uh, yeah, there's something in the back. Um, here yeah, you can see, like you know, look at it. It's like a kind of triangle shape, then it has like a flat top here, and then it goes in the same angle down. I mean, look at this rock here. It's it's absolutely crazy. I think there's a triangle as well. It's a mean, see, it goes like a triangular shape down. So who knows what this was? Anyway, so let's jump into the Photoshop. So uh, this is the original layer, got it all enhanced and everything. And uh, let's check it out. Now uh, the most important factor in this image is to remove the shadows. <coughs> and we'll jump into this thing. Now to me, this looks uh, a lot like a vehicle, you know, I mean look at this. And there's like a straight line going like this, a bit sharp too here. It, it really does look so like some kind of vehicle on this thing, I mean, I know it's kind of destroyed, but here you have, I think, the same thing, and here as well, but it's, it's you know, like I said, kind of destroyed. You can actually look in inside it, and you can see like a perfect round circle here, with one, two, three dots here. Almost looks, uh, at least it reminds me of kind of some kind of jet engine, I'm not saying that it is. But uh, we need some words, uh, some shapes here to refer to. <coughs> so what do you think guys? I mean, um, crazy stuff isn't it? Let me try and clear up this a uh, bit more. And sharpen it even up more. There's not more, more, much more we, that we can do. But if you want to see it inverted, here you go. And... Uh, what do you think? I mean, this this really is crazy. I mean, when you look at it, it's a 90 degree angle here. You see the back, 90 degree angle there, and he got this crazy like kind of spoiler here. I don't know what it is. Now here's something even more crazy, right next to it. Now let me uninvert it, and let me show the original one. Now I'm not going to switch this on and off. You mean no difference? Anyways, look at it. Really, really strange. Now, let's get back to the enhanced version here. I think this is a bit more easy on the eyes. And we'll invert it. Now, what do we actually see here is like a circle here, like a circle here, and all kind of weird carvings and kind of rock shapes. You know what this really reminds me of? Some kind of. Um, really old clock you know those ones um, those those manual ones where you had to, where you needed the sun to see how late it is uh, to me it really does look like like some kind of clock here let's see, let me zoom out something has been drawn onto this because i don't think that this is like uh, just a rock laying there i think it's actually connected to the to the thing i mean it's this kind of triangular rock on it and it's definitely you know like it's connected to this whole thing. I mean, uh, let's grab a closer look here. It even looks mechanical in nature, in fact. Now I've a bit sharpened it up. I mean, look at this thing here. Look at the angle here going up. Well, it certainly is strange, I must say so. Now let's check this thing out. Equalize it a bit. Uh, this image is really exciting. I really recommend for you guys, as always, to check it out for yourself. Um, got some kind of box going here, like a 90 degree angle. See, going to the back, 90 degree angle down. 
this thing is quite interesting actually I think I'm starting to see something here and make it a bit smaller here and just you know the fact how this goes look at this line here I mean it's definitely some kind of molten piece of steel and then it's connected to this thing one two three dots and you have some kind of weird shape going here and very faintly you can see something going on here <laughs> sorry so uh, there's so much stuff going on here I think we'll return to this area just a bit later and uh, yeah in this image I just started out I had to blur it out because uh, yeah pixelation here was really bad um, here we have that kind of weird rock here and there's some kind of you know grab a look here some kind of circle on there can you see it right here now I think my new program doesn't show my brush that well but here it is some kind of circle like something uh, like, like you can stick something in the middle here I mean look at the shape perfectly carved it can't get any better carved than this let's try it anyhow I know that we won't get a lot here but if you, if you look at this I mean look at it 90 degree angle 90 degree angle like a weird rectangular shape something is on it molten here molten to it I might say so and this is just crazy stuff you know what 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 saw was this again 530 it was one of the newest images here and the images are getting really really bad you know how, how did the original look at that absolute crap but you can see now that I don't add any objects in him I have not anything to it this is it and we have something here again I'm discovering anomalies here on the fly as well and that's all, all the, you know that's that's a fun part for me and probably for you as well you know we're finding stuff together live and uh, I usually uh, check some anomalies before I make a video see if it's worth it and there's anomalies in every single image I can guarantee you that once you train the eye you can see them <coughs> you just have to follow the patterns like 90 degree angles or, or just too weird I mean this just sticks out and then I continue on from that and let's see what we got more here I actually want to make a really short video out of this but it seems to be a lot more interesting let's invert it definitely something strange here see it's kind of like a molten here and it goes underneath it as well here we have some kind of weird molten line maybe cable who knows right let's check some stuff out I think this is definitely like some kind of machinery or some kind of clock I don't know that this thing just, just baffles the mind with uh, combined with this uh, laying on the ground there and let's go to the back as well let me check out here let's get rid of the inversion and you can see the stitching is going on here and then like you can see the stitching here at least I hope it's uh, you can see it I'll zoom in a bit more and the uh, the other part of the rock or normally is just gone and then you see this weird vague spot there I mean look at it very sad thing I think there's definitely something going on there but because of the stitching I can't make any claims on it about it so yeah I mean uh, this thing is absolutely strange just because you have two times two times the same same shape here I'm quite sure that there's a lot more going on here All right, look at this one it's going like this going to the back I think uh, it's quite symmetrical if you ask me seriously I just found like the most rectangular squared box I've ever seen in my life at least my normally life <laughs> because yeah I have a life beyond the normalies <laughs> and you can see a lot of boxes in your life um, here's kind of the background let me invert this 
Let me fix it a bit up because I'll set it up more for the foreground. And there's not a lot to be seen here in the background, I must say. So let me grab my uh, cursor here. It's so like a line here, like a line here, like and, and a line here, very faintly, and a very faintly 90 degree angle. Here's one as well, 90 degree angle. But this is like really rectangular, you know. What else have I found out? This, you know, could be something. I'm not sure what to call that. There's something going on here as well. If you follow my cursor here, it goes like straight. And then there's something like an arch going over that straight part. And uh, let me try and uh, sharpen a bit more up. Let me zoom in a bit more. I mean, look at it. It's like going over a straight line. It is uh, quite the thing, you know. Quite the anomaly. Uh, let's go more to the right. See what we found here. There's something going on here. If like, f let me zoom in a bit more. It's like a uh, straight line here, line here, line here. Then it's going like straight down. Then going to the left. It's like it's kind of hard to see this. I'll zoom in even more. So forgive me. If like a line going like this. And a very faint, you know, it's all pixelated, but it could be a triangle. Although I'm not sure, but we have two parallel lines going here, which is interesting as well. Now this object is interesting as well, because um, look at this line, it's going straight, and it's going to the right. And then you have these two circles sitting on top of this. I don't think that this is a, um, a ridge or a mountain part. And we'll zoom in even more, you can see it. I'll try and sharpen it up and you can see how it goes it's like a really strange thing it's going up and then you have this kind of circular shape here yeah I just found this one 90 degree angle I mean uh, Mars is filled with all kind of weird angles that shouldn't be there but they are there now of course you could say this is, might be uh, at least it looks a lot like a pyramid instead of like a uh, instead of like a sand dune or anything, because uh, we have the sides here, we have the angles here going on, and if if the other side is just like these sides, then you have like a pyramid, which is some people really get excited about that, <coughs> because hey, maybe it was like some kind of ancient civilization, and uh, we we just don't know, and frankly, you know. I'm just really mad at NASA just giving us utter rubbish, not even investigating it. I mean, uh, you're, you're actually just here. Look how close you are. Couldn't you just check it out? Make a better image out of it. Now instead you get this kind of images. This is the original quality. You can check out the link in the description. Uh, uh, it, it gets worse with the day. And you know what's really funny? There's always a sandstorm in the back. <laughs> So you gotta say, I mean, seriously, always a sandstorm in the back. Anyways, um, let's check out the area in the front a bit more. This thing looks really mad, I don't know what this is. Maybe we'll just find a lot more here. Let me fix this back to the foreground there. Yeah, I know there is, and there's multiple ways to achieve this. But, you know what? Oh yeah, I almost forgot this one. Let me check it out for you. <coughs> this is like a kind of weird wheel. You can really see faintly like uh, like a kind of wheel type thing here. And there's something going over it, holding it. And anyway, when you have like a bicycle wheel, there are all kinds of uh, metal uh, straight things inside the wheel. Uh, sorry, I'm Dutch. I forgot the word in English. But... Um, you can definitely see that there's something going on there. Looks really suspicious to me, don't you think, guys? I mean, it's kind of connected with this middle thing. And I think um, that's about it. There's definitely a lot more in this image, I know. You just have the sixth sense for it right now. Look at that. What could this be? 
Really strange, there's this whole ridge here and going up here and in some ways probably goes down. Bit faint to see. There's something like an arch kind of thing sticking out of the ground here. Definitely an interesting image. Anyways, I'm really highly excited about all the thumbs up and all the uh, shares and all the new subscribers. And I'm really happy to, uh, to uh, have spoken to some people that are really uh, interested in starting their own channel. And I can't wait for you to start your own channel. This is not competition. This is uh, merely informing the public or correcting us on its lies, mistakes, however you'd like to call it. So uh, I highly invite you to check some of my videos. You will learn automatically how to get kind of the best results out of an image. Did a video called rubbish image quality. You can check that out, and uh, well, they uh, then you just learn in that video that uh, NASA has no right for giving us such bad rubbish image quality. I mean, look at it. I'll I'll show you again. Now, at first glance, everything looks really nice, right? Yeah, that's just one click zooming. It's madness. It's just ridiculous. So yeah. If you want to know why, uh, why they are giving such bad quality to us, check out my rubbish image quality, debunked them completely. Uh, there will be a part 2 to that video, but uh, it's, it's, I need to get the facts all straight before I upload of course. Um, this thing is by the way uh, quite interesting as well. Anyways, thank you, to watch, thank you for watching, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and uh, be part of the community and uh, if you have common sense, well then then join the community why not so uh, see you in the next video guys thank you for listening thank you for watching